Hello everybody. Yes, you've read the title. This is a COVID series. Here's the test. That is a very, that is a very faint line. Um, positive. So, yeah, I have COVID. <laughs> it's so ridiculous. Like, it just seems so ridiculous that I've actually got it. Um, so I, obviously you would have seen in my last video if you watched it, um, I returned two negatives. So on the Sunday, I went to the 60th on the Saturday. On the Sunday, I woke up, um, just kind of like a little sore throat. I felt like I had just been like singing or talking really loudly at the party. Though I came home and I like I took a negative test, a rat test, and then again on Monday I didn't go to work. As you would have seen, I was like a little bit more sick, more of a sore throat, whatever. Also another negative test. So I just kind of thought, oh I'm just sick, like I'm, I'm just, there must just be like a sickness going around, like it's really not a big deal. Whatever. Um, so then today, um, I went into work and they said, oh, just for good measure, we'll just do a um, COVID like, rat test. And my boss did it for me. And I'm just like sitting there like everything's chill because I've like taken two negative tests, not thinking anything of it. They were just like, oh, just for good measure, we'll, we'll take a third one. Uh, this is it. They were like, go home. You can't be here. And I was like, what the heck? Like, I literally just like couldn't believe that it was like me. And like, this is how I feel. Which is seriously not bad at all. Um, I just, I'm getting like more of a cough now. With a bit of a, like a pain when I cough. But like other than that, I am so fine. I then came home. Um, my poor parents have to deal with me. Reese is kind of feeling on the same par as me. So if he returns a, ne um, a positive test as well, I'll probably just go to his. My my mum um, is like immune compromised, so it's probably best if I don't like stay here if he is positive like then we could just kind of like mingle I think that's really it I do kind of feel a bit more out of breath than usual um but those are my like kind of my only symptoms parents are really conscious of it all which is totally fair enough I've been having to wear a mask like if I go outside my bedroom but it's all it's all a bit much like Everyone just like is kind of scared of you and I'm like, I'm fine. For how I feel, it seems very dramatic that I have to isolate for 10 days. Um, I was supposed to be going on, like, on the camping trip to Kaiwi this weekend. I was like, oh, I'll be fine by Friday. And that's still how I feel. Like, I'll be fine like by Friday, I'm sure. Unless I take like a massive turn it's just so weird to me so I thought I'd do like a little series of it until maybe I return the negative but yes yeah, so this is officially like day one of like returning a positive test but my second or th second day that I'm like feeling unwell but like really hardly unwell it's definitely crazy I hope you guys are all doing it fine but yeah I need to try and find some more rat tests which has been really difficult to find um, on Sunday I went to the pharmacy and I was like oh excuse me do you have any rat tests they were like no we don't have any rat tests and I was like where do I get them from and they were like really like, I don't know and then I went to Browns Bay Medical Center 
just like kind of stopping in and I was like oh excuse me do you have a rat test like I'm not feeling too well they still were like we only giving them out to enrolled patients only and I was like what the heck like you can hear I'm sick like why would you not want to help somebody who like potentially got COVID it was just like so bizarre to me that they didn't want to help me I did have to register my tests on my COVID record um, so you just have to do that if you return a positive rat test um, so yeah that's kind of really it but yeah I thought it'd be kind of like interesting to do positive COVID um, series and just kind of see how I go through these next week and a bit which is just so crazy to me but I'm really gutted that I can't go camping this weekend it's just like perfect timing the next kind of situation will just be like whether Reese has got it or not because that will be interesting I haven't seen him since Sunday morning when I left there to come home um, but he was kind of feeling the same way that I'm feeling oh out of breath but anyways I can't believe I'm making this video like so early on like it's not early on like there's so many people with like there's so many thousands at the moment but like I can't believe it's not like I know many people that have got it either you know anyways I'll check back in with you when there's an update. Hello everybody. Um, Mum just dropped in some lemon and honey drink, which is beautiful. It's a really nice and strong one. Just been like resting in bed. The only thing that's changed is that I feel a little bit more worse just with the cough. It's like becoming quite sore on my chest to cough. Uh, other than that, um, I haven't really heard anything. I thought my GP was supposed to call me to kind of tell me what more to do. But I haven't heard anything. Reese is swinging by after his work to do a rat test. Which we've got a spare one. But we kind of do need more. Um, and I don't really know like where to get them from but yeah and especially because like everyone in my household is isolating now <sighs> so it's really hard to just like you can't just go out anymore I'm just drinking this chilling out <clears throat> and um I hopefully it doesn't get like worse from here on out I guess we'll have to see How are you all doing? I want to know how you are doing. I, I'm feeling alright. Just a lot more out of breath. I had a shower and I'm mean, out of breath. <sighs> Even talking, like talking in like long like sentences is as like makes me out of breath like a heavy chest but good news <clears throat> is I ordered some puzzles two puzzles I ordered a was jig one you know the ones where you just you don't know what you're building um so one of those and I also got one that I did know what I was building because when things are too hard for me I don't like doing them I don't like doing them if they're too hard like I want to I want to have the satisfaction of putting a puzzle piece in to the puzzle like often <laughs> but not too often like I need it to be hard like obviously it's a thousand piece but you know what I mean anyone relate or does people just like them really hard 
I just took my cookies out. I'll show you. I hadn't made this recipe before. It was just a recipe off Pinterest, but they are looking great. I've just taken them out. So they're just cooling down and like making a shape. And what I did do was I just froze like, cause I only made six, but it probably made like eight or something, eight I'd say. But obviously they didn't like fit on my board. So I just froze like the rest of the batter. So like I could just like pull it out and make two cookies if I wanted to, you know? I feel like that was quite smart, you know? But anyways, day one, officially done. It's 6.45, about to watch some maths. Oh, what I didn't, what I didn't show was that Reese came round and he did a rat test here. It turned out negative. It turned out negative, which is just like blows my mind. He's got the same cough as me. <clears throat> He's got the same um, like chest, like out of breath feeling. So I don't know, I'm not sure if maybe he'll test positive like tomorrow or something. I have no idea. I just like, I couldn't believe that his was like put negative. It was so funny. <laughs> Earlier I was telling mum that it was literally felt like how I could imagine like taking a pregnancy test was like how like I mean how how I imagine taking a pregnancy test that was like positive like I've never taken like a test that turned out positive before and I couldn't like I mean obviously on a lesser scale but like I can imagine I was just like this is bullshit like I, I was just like could not believe it this was so funny kind of like how I could imagine like Taking a pregnancy test. I was literally in like denial. They were like, look at it. I was like, I can see it, but it's, I can't, no, nah, you guys are, you guys are joking. <laughs> I'm going to have a cookie. We should have like cookie and some milk. I'm that sort of person that can literally drink a glass of milk and I like a glass of milk. <laughs> Reese is the same. Reese could literally, though what Reese does that I don't like is that he'll put ice in his milk. It just makes it like watery. But I, not that I have it like too often, it's probably why my skin looks like this. No, I'm kidding. I don't have, I'm not like dairy intolerant or anything intolerant. <clears throat> but um, yeah, not that I drink it often, but I could definitely like drink a glass of milk with a fresh cookie that I've just baked. I'm so domesticated. Anyways, I'll um, chat to you tomorrow. Um, did I tell you I was going to go watch maths? Watch maths and I'm on episode 2 of Euphoria and it's going really good. It's going good. It's going good. It's not what I was expecting but I'm watching it. I'm watching it. So yeah, watching Euphoria and maths tonight and I'll chat to you guys tomorrow. See how I'm feeling. Good morning everybody. Mum just brought me up some toast. Oh, some toast with some cream cheese. It's delish. I, I can still taste. Thank God. Because I've been eating like a freaking hungry woman. <clears throat> it's my tummy. Oh. I how am I feeling how am I feeling last night I it took me a really long time to fall asleep because I just kept on coughing I was coughing and coughing and coughing and coughing um, which is just so frustrating when you're tired and you want to go to sleep but wasn't the coughing I would have fallen asleep way earlier um so yeah that was really annoying um but what's crazy is that 
this is like like I thought Monday today is um, Wednesday um when I had my day off work for Monday I thought oh you know I'm on the you know this is the worst day anything after this is gonna be fine it's not it has actually gotten worse <clears throat> my symptoms have just changed though like from the sore throat to the cough um, and I feel really out of breath I definitely feel scared for any older people who feel like this like especially like people with asthma um smoke like ex smokers or like smokers or something I definitely feel like yikes for you um but yeah it's quite hectic um but um I don't feel any better um yeah that's pretty much it like I just don't feel much better I feel the same or worse um but I don't know. I just watched Molly May's new video. I love Molly May. She's she's a real cool chick. Um, and I like her videos. Um, but yeah, this is pretty much me today. I've got my Skims top on. I missed um. I was drinking tea and it was hot tea. I missed my lip. I went on my chest. And I'm wearing the RB and Opal pants, which I haven't worn yet. Um but yeah, that's pretty much it for me. Yeah, it just took me a really long time to fall asleep. Um don't feel better. <clears throat> but anyways. I will chat to you guys when I chat to you next. Hello everybody. I am in the same position. I know. Can I rest you guys on my knees? Oh my god, look how bad I look. Uh, that's so bad. Reese was like I always um Reese and I we always FaceTime. He was like, You look like you've got COVID. <laughs> I was like, I hey, no, look at me. Straight on FaceTime. There's no shame. There's no shame. I've got coffee. Cheers. I can still taste because that would just be awful. Oh, I've been eating like a lot. Like a lot. Um, yeah, my new favorite thing is having the cream cheese on some white bread toast. Mm. This one time, I had got my um, tonsils out in like year 13, my last year of school, and we've got like private health insurance. So we were at the Southern Cross Hospital, and it was so nice. I had the best sleep of my life, and they were waking me up like, Savannah, wake up now. And I was like, I can't. It was so good. Anyways, the point of that, like the first thing I ate was this like cream cheese sandwich. Oh, it was so good. So I'm kind of like recreating it. That was like years ago. If it really left my bed, I definitely think it's going to be like a bit of a bed day today. Like it has been every other day. But yeah, um, this coffee is from Meebs in Milford um, really nice apparently it's got like awards for this kind of coffee but yeah so that's from there <laughs>
everybody it is day three I think of since the positive test since Monday today is shit what is today it's Thursday it's Thursday um, so Monday no since I have tested positive on Tuesday it's Thursday, so yeah, day three, but Sunday since I, um, since I started symptoms. So, how are you all going? I don't really know how, like, if you count it from when you're, like, first symptomatic or when the positive result came up, so I'm not sure how to, how to do that, like, how that all works, but... I had a better sleep. I wasn't coughing nearly as much just when I woke up at 2.30. I coughed a bit, but nothing like hectic, nothing that like kept me awake. Today there is no Wi-Fi, which is amazing. And because my house has a really steep driveway, I don't get good service. Like, so 3G is pretty much, like, ruled out. Unless I'm, like, upstairs, like, on the balcony. Um, which is just really frustrating. I wouldn't mind using my 3G, but I can't. But, so that's a bit much. Like, mum's supposed to be working from home. I'm using Wi-Fi. She can't. Um, dad also, so... Uh, uh, it's definitely like an issue just made some breakfast I just had one slice of some Baker's Delight white bread with some cream cheese on it and um, two scrambled eggs and some scrambled eggs and it was delish um, I think it's like I can breathe but it's like back more so I'm like finding it just like a little bit hard to taste only because I'm like a really congested I think like somewhere in the back I was talking to Shannon and Shannon is really sick she has got COVID so we must have picked it up like together on Saturday um but she is like really really sick um, I'm super worried about her, um, especially because she lives by herself and her immune system's like not great at all. Um, so, yeah, I really, really hope she's alright. But she's getting assessed at the doctors because she's really struggling to breathe. I'm just like keep checking in on her, but I'm really, um, I'm really worried. That's kind of the update for today. Hopefully my puzzles should be arriving today as well as like a food delivery. Just from countdown. So that's exciting. <laughs> that's so exciting. I've really been loving like filling my, my bottle up with like full, like all ice and then like the like fridge water like so it's super cold I'm like really enjoying that I'm um, like it's heavy and it's got so much ice in it which has been really good I'm kind of just feeling like the same same but slightly better maybe like 5% like better I think but then it's more nasally today so it's just like really hard to like understand how I'm actually feeling because every day seems to be like a little bit different like my symptoms are just like changing all the time I'm honestly just like yeah way more worried for Shannon now like we must have picked it up at the same time um because we're like literally on pretty much the same days because she went to work on Monday with a such a sore throat and I just had like a sore throat but didn't go to work because like obviously I had a sore throat 
um, but it was her first day at her new job, so she really needed to like go and like, you know, imagine on your first day of your new job that you've like a job that you've always wanted, and then like you can't go and like that's just like ridiculous, you know. And she really wanted to take this like seriously, um, um, but then she like got sent home a little bit early, and she did a rat test on the Monday. And it was negative, and mine was also negative on Monday, so. I think we must have, like, literally caught it at the same time, because we're literally, like, on the same days, I think, which is really strange. Um, but yeah, she's really sick. I've got no plans. I can't even watch TV or watch YouTube. Oh. It's so crazy how you can, like, rely on Wi-Fi like this. Like, it's just, like, so crazy to me. Um, but anyways. This is me. Um. Okay. Anyways, well, I'll, um, chat to you. A little bit later. Hopefully I get my puzzle soon. So then I can start doing that. Because that's no Wi-Fi. Anyways. I'll chat to you a bit later.